Henry is a dermatologist in New York City, and she walked me through the new symptoms she's seeing. Dr. Henry, at the beginning of COVID-19, we heard about, you know, respiratory issues, temperatures, now dermatological issues. How do you first of all assess whether this is a run-of-the-mill rash or something that's concerning? So you're absolutely right. We knew that this virus affected the lungs. We now know it can affect the kidneys and even the skin. So as dermatologists, we weren't entirely shocked um, that there were some skin manifestations. We know that viral disorders often affect the skin. Um, so what we see is, one, we can see a hive-like reaction, so like wheels on the skin. Um, number two, and this is the one that's garnering a lot of attention in the press because it really stands out and speaks to the pathogenesis of this condition, it's called COVID toes. And what you see on the skin are these tender, um, purple, sometimes they can even blister spots, often on the toes, but you can often also get them on the fingers. And what they represent is a little bit of compromise of the blood vessels. Um, in addition to the COVID toes, you can also see um, a vesicular rash, so a rash that looks like chicken pox or measles. And another rash that stands out, we call it livido reticularis, and it's a lacy purple rash on the skin, not tender, um, often on the trunk. So there are many manifestations from our Italian colleagues, we know that about 20% of COVID patients will have some sort of skin manifestations. And with regards to the COVID toes specifically, most of those patients that we're seeing, and I'm seeing some of them even with my telemedicine visits, are younger and asymptomatic. And what's important about that is that although they're asymptomatic, they can still shed this virus. Do we know why in about 20% of patients, particularly young people, COVID toes, it would it would manifest in that way on the skin when otherwise they seem healthy? You know, it speaks to the what we call the pathogenesis of the disease or the manner in which it progresses. And so we know that part of what makes this, this disease such a threat and what makes it so virulent is that it causes this, this really enormous inflammatory response. And that's part of what compromises our, our lungs and our respiratory um, system. And that same, um, that overwhelming inflammation also can compromise our blood vessels. And so there are some studies now thinking about using some anticoagulation medications, so medications that may thin the blood a little bit to reduce this clotting tendency of the virus. And so it's just, it's, it's, it's patient independent. So if you're a person who has a robust response, you can have that robust response in the lungs or in those who are asymptomatic, it's happening in the skin. And so, you know, it's hard. There's a lot that we're still learning about this virus. We don't know why one patient um, might have this robust response and another patient who looks similar doesn't, but we know that it's due to this, this inflammatory tendency of the virus. I'm thinking of, of patients who typically have issues with their feet, whether diabetics, you know, not good circulation, or people with gout, they have that, that pain. Um, with something mm -hmm. like COVID toes, is there any relation? Diabetes is a big one, and diabetes can often compromise the vasculature. And so you're right, um, these patients are already showing that they have compromised vasculature. We know patients that have pre-existing heart conditions, um, uh, patients who have pre-existing um, pulmonary or lung conditions are gonna be at higher risk. If I suspect that I have this, you know, lace-like pattern or something like that and, and worry, can I go to my family doctor first? You absolutely can go to your family doctor. You know, we are all, all of us in medicine, we're all on the same team and it is a crash course in learning and absorbing as much as you can about this, this, um, this virus. And so my family medicine colleagues can read these rashes as well. And you know, especially with the, 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 the reduction in access, all of us are doing telemedicine visits. Dr. Michelle Henry, <laughs> thank you so much for helping us understand uh, these newest findings with COVID-19, appreciate it. Thank you for having me. By the way, I also asked. I also asked why a lot of us seem to be getting um, acne right now, and she said it's not in your head. Cortisol, stress hormones, not being outside that can do it. But if you buy stuff just online, over the counter, it can fix it. I said thank you so much. <laughs>